Hey, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another Albion Online video. In this video, I want to provide you guys with the ultimate fishing guide in Albion Online. That way, you guys don't need to do any of your own research, it's all going to be here for you. Fishing is probably one of the most chillest activities in Albion Online. It's super relaxing and casual. You can easily do this while you're watching my other YouTube videos or Netflix or whatever you really want to do. So it's very relaxing, doesn't need a lot of brains, which makes it very simple and it's also very profitable, especially once you start hitting that tier seven and tier of fish. Uh, it becomes very, very profitable when you can sell fish for 60 to 70 K per fish. So very lucrative in that manner. And so in this video, I'll go over everything you need to know about fishing so we can all decide if fishing is worth your time. Before we go and learn about fishing, how much silver can we make from fishing? Well, you can make about 1 million every 30 minutes on average, and I've kind of tested this in different biomes. Um, and of course, sometimes you can get lucky and get rare fish, but those are rare for a reason. So on an average perspective, you can expect to make about 2 million silver per hour. Uh, so if you look at premium, you can achieve premium in about four and a half hours. So. Um, Definitely recommend this method if, if you're definitely looking to, to gain your premium. So why does fishing even exist? Well, these fish are actually used to craft different types of food that give different bonuses like cooldown, increased damage, decreased cast speed, and many, many more. So let's dive right into it. The first thing, the most basic part of this video is to show you the destiny board and what you need to think about. So there are only one mastery and one specialization, not like the other gathering trees. Um, so essentially the mastery will frame up your tier and a specialization. So which one should you frame up? Well, you will frame both at the same time, but if you're using fame credits, I recommend you start your focus on your mastery first, then do it on your specialization. And the reason I say this is because once you start hitting that higher tier fish, you'll earn a lot more silver per fish. And so fishing specialization will only help with the speed and yield of your fish. So it's still very important. So how do you start? So all you gotta do is just head over to the marketplace and buy a T3 fishing rod. And this is nice because usually with any other gathering profession, you start off with tier two gathering. The next thing you need is a pool of water, and there are two different types, salt water and fresh water. There is really no difference in fish price from these pools, except you can only get the shark, I believe, in the salt water, uh, but the other types of fish won't change much. So, you know, you don't really have to worry about it until you hit tier eight. Now, while we're on the subject of the water bodies, let's talk about what kind of fish you can expect from the different biomes and which ones are more profitable. So check out this list, it will show you the different types of fish you get from each biome. So there are two different kind of types of fish. You got the common fish and you also have the rare fish. So if you look at the common fish, uh, you got stuff from tier tier one all the way to tier eight, right? Uh, so you got uh, these pikes, perch, carp, uh, you got trout, zender, sturgeons, herrings, uh, mackerel, uh, cod, you know, all these tunas, all these different types of fish, uh, and these are just common fish. Now, the ones that you really want are, is going to be the rare fish. So when we look at the rare fish, you got the eels from tier 3 to tier 7, and those ones are in the forest biome, and they are probably one of the more expensive ones out of all these. Then you've got the lurcher ones. These are also fairly rare and, and fairly lucrative in money as well, so you can find those in the highlands. Uh, then you've got the clams in the swamps. You got cold eye, blind eye, dead eye in the mountains, and you got crabs in the steppe, squid in the ocean, as well as the shark in the ocean. Now, once you hit your eight, the sharks are really, you know, big, big money. You can sell these trophies that they for laborers, and they, I believe, sell for about 1.5 mil, 1.7 mil something around that range. Uh, so, you know, once you hit that tier rate, you definitely want to be heading over to those areas. Again, they are super rare. So, you know, uh, good luck with that. So after looking at all these different options, um, you know, the one that I really recommend is obviously the forest biome. The dead water eel uh, are certainly one of the more expensive fish in the market. 
But of course, as you know, this can change. The Albion Online is really player driven and the market is player driven as well. So the prices of these fish can change. So I suggest you check which buyer are more profitable and hit those up. So when you have your rod, you can go to these water bodies and look for the circle of fish and it's kind of going crazy in circles. So you hover over any pool of water and you're going to see this anchor icon that is going to pop up instead of the normal cursor. Um, and that's just when you know you're going to be able to begin fishing. So all you do is left click and you will start channeling your anchor and then once it hits in the water, all you have to do is wait for it to dip just like that and then this mini game will pop out and the objective of this mini game is to keep the float in the green Anytime you left click the mouse, that will move the float to the right. Anytime you let go of the mouse, it'll automatically move the float to the left. So the objective is so easy. Just keep continue left click and letting go. Continue left clicking and letting go until you catch the fish. And you can see that fish going from the left side to, of the blue bar all the way to the right side of the blue bar. As we do this here, the fish is traveling to the destination and if you keep that float in the green as long as the fish is moving, then you will catch the fish and then you get the this and then you get some of the fish. Very simple, it's a small mini game, it's a little bit more interactive than you do with something like ore mining or something else, like I don't know, lumberjacking or whatever you gather. But it's still pretty easy and the fact that I say it's AFK is because fishing you literally can do in one area, stay there for the whole entire day and fish. I don't have to move. I don't have to move from here. I can keep fishing from here forever. So I can have something like it's Yui's YouTube videos on my other monitor, and then me fishing here at the level of my fishing. So now let me tell you guys my strategy. I generally find a zone like the forest or swamp with water all over the map. I just run a cycle to fish in all areas where there are fishing circles. These fish circles help catch fat fish faster. But again, it doesn't really help with the rarity of the fish that you get. So like I said, you can either sit in one spot and fish or go around the zone looking for these fishing circles. And again, these only help with faster fishing. So let's now talk about the actual fishing. Is there some kind of method you should do and what kind of things you know should help you with this fishing experience. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is something called fishing bait. And fishing bait gives you a bonus bite speed. So this will help speed the fish to catch on your rod. There are three types of bait, tier one, tier three, and tier five. And this is not for a time span, but only for the next 10 throws. So if you throw the rod and mess up on the mini game, you actually lose out on that bait. So why should you even use this bait? Well, it's, it's really a way to speed up fishing. And it's so, more fish per hour equals more solar per hour. The second thing I'm going to tell you guys about is the seaweed food. Now, if you look at the stats of the food, um, this really increases our fishing speed by about 10% for 30 minutes. But again, this does not help the speed of the bite, but rather help the speed of the mini game channel, uh, which is also a nice thing. Now, something to note is you may get some stupid stuff like rough stone, uh, but you can also get some cool stuff from the black market. But again, that's not really what you're after. Now, the other thing you should probably take with you while you're fishing is our, while fishing our journals. Now, these are literally free money. Um, you know, while you're gathering, you'll fill these journals up and can be worth a lot of silver when they're full. So some of these tier seven books sell for about 120K-ish. Um, and, you know, why are they so expensive? Well, these journals are given to laborers which give back more fish and possibly the rare fish as well. If you guys want a little bit more information about laborers, I have a full in-depth video uh, on my YouTube and I'll post it down in the description as well as the top there. Um, and I'll kind of show you guys how I make about 5 million a day. Lastly is the fishing gathering gear which is fairly standard with all the other gathering professions, but essentially they provide you with higher yields. So you can catch three to four fishes easily, um, and same with the Avalonian rods that are fairly new. Now, do you want to cheat? Well, you can literally level up your mastery and specializations by eating fish. 
So you can either eat the fish that you gather or buy the fish like what I did to fame yourself up. Totally your call which one you choose, but maybe you can even do a bit of both where you're power leveling through buying fish and the fish that you catch. Anyways, y'all, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial to start making premium easy. Again, happy new years. Hope your outing career develops in the coming year. See you guys in the next one. Cheers!